So I'm just going to show you a little bit of brain cutting. Um, these wheels, these are Alex Syatt carborundum wheels, old stone wheels. And the best place to find these are the Craigleith, uh, Craigleith Quarry up in, um, up in Scotland. Um, make sure that's tight enough. And they're fantastic. Um, you, can, you can get them made. There's a, there's a guy up in Yorkshire somewhere making old stone wheels now. But these are the best wheels. You know, there's a lot of different types here, different shapes and different sizes that do different things. You really only need like four wheels, but I thought well, I'm going to save these, you know. Um, actually, I say this is all Frank George Holmes wheels. There's probably around about 10 which belonged to another guy that was in Birmingham. And he sold them to me. Um, and he was saying to me, he had like hundreds of them at one time. Uh, there was an old cutting factory, a little bit like Waterford up in Birmingham, like there were back in the day. Um, but I believe a lot of the wheels were lost to demolition when they, they, they blew up the factory and just buried it all and used it as hardcore. So, but some of these wheels came out of that as well. So that was kind of nice. So I managed to save those. But yeah, um, so this is the wheel. This is an edge cut wheel. I'm going to do a little bit of edge cutting in a second for you. So I literally copied that section there. And I'm now going to use, I'll wait there for a second. I'm just going to push this. Put some glasses on. I used to see a lot of the old cutters never wearing glasses. And I'm like, oh, they are going to be fine. No, you're not. So. Bit of health and safety first. Um, I don't know whether you want to come around this side. Can you see me? Yeah, see if you can see. There we go. So this is a piece of just ordinary four mil glass. It's a. Uh, it holds up pretty well. It's like a paint, actually. This is. And then I'm just going to do one cut. So I'm going to start at the edge here. Makes a bit of a noise. Put it into its place. I'm working at a slight awkward angle. And so the wheel's running around about just under 320 RPM, probably a little bit less actually. And I'm not going to go too deep. Can you see that there? Yeah. You can see where it's cutting, yeah. So you can see where the actual wheel's making the cut. and getting slightly larger. Once I've got out to the, uh, the right width, I can go up and down. So that's nice and smooth. So the smoother you keep it, the, the better it will be for polishing afterwards. You kind of have to be a little bit patient. I probably would have normally have this wheel going a bit quicker. But you have to wait for the glass to, you know, to catch up to the cutting. And now you can see I'm coming down through. And this method is exactly the same as what Waterford were doing, but this is more on a, a larger scale for pub windows. The next time you see a, a, a pub in London or wherever in England with, with cut glass, not, not only pubs, also just Victorian houses. You'll know how it's kind of done. I'll just do this one cut and I won't do all of them. I'll tell you what, it's really therapeutic as well. I spent hours here before um, enjoying this, you know. And then I'm twisting the wheel. So you're almost like a steering wheel. You're kind of like moving it like this. Can you come a bit closer now? You can just see that last cut. And now you can see, that's a fine a little bit there. And so you're left with a nice smooth finish. And then you've got to take care of both edges. So there we go. So I'd probably be happy with that now. You can see, you can actually see through it because it's like, it's got the water there, but when it's dry, it goes to like a frosted sandblasted finish. Um, can you come closer if you can? There we go. You can see that there. And then the depth of it is, you know, it's probably like one and a half mil there really. So from there, I'd then MDF wheel that with a polish and then, the felt and that would be clear then and then you'd have a nice cut glass piece which when you look through it you can see this, you'd have this finished look you see there's a nice clear glass ground 